thought everything was going fine when I used it last and turned it off. So, a little bit concerning. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if one of my valves isn't open. So I've taken all that off, had a look at it, nothing seemed out of place on that there, so I've just um, put that back on and started undoing this here. Pull these injectors out and check the cylinders, because the valves seem to be moving and you know, the valve keepers are still there so nothing's dropped in there that I can tell. Oh, that didn't sound good. A bit of a slurpy sound. Oh, a drip out of this one. Oh, that sound again. That smells like diesel. I've never seen that before. So it's in the sun. What happened? So, we're gonna put that cover over it for now. Keep any rain and water off the top of there while I do these injectors. And the right end came undone for me as well, so that's it. What are we going to see in here? Can I have them? Yeah. Don't get the gunk in there, look at that. That's
put some air through that there. Get this here. Right. So I've given this a clean up to the best of can of what I've got here. Idea. I can blow through it. This moves. This. You can hear that tap now. It seems to be. This feels and sounds like it's seating better now. When I pull that out, I can put, put air through there and it's coming out there. And if I put this back in, and put air pressure back on this side, it doesn't feel like anything was passing through. Whether before it did, so it must be a little bit better. I'd like to take this off too to see if there's a way I can just adjust it. See if there's a, anything in there that I can tighten up. Put a little bit more pressure on the spring. What am I going to find in here? Definitely tuned, isn't it? So if it was already there, I think I might give it a bit. About that much of a turn. It's probably not to go about it all but I'm just going to do it and see if it uh, helps that seal a little bit better. If I had a way to check how much pressure it was going to take to make that work then I'd um, go through the whole lot and set them at, a, at the same amount. But I'm not doing that today I'm just trying to get this back together and going again. I've never had that happen where the tractor's gone and filled a cylinder up with diesel. Yeah. Right, so I've, I've gone and tightened that up a little bit. Hopefully that helps it from leaking diesel through, a little bit more tension on it. Okay, that's helpful. And 
just going to tighten this back up so, so it feels like it was before. Hopefully it hasn't got any leaks. Hopefully it doesn't develop any new leaks, eh? In a different place. If it does, I'll just put the pull it back, pull it back apart and do it again. If I do have to pull it apart again, then uh, I think I'll get some sort of sort of gauge to be able to set them all at the same pressures. Pulled them apart, went over all three of them Adjusted the two end ones about a quarter of a turn, about a quarter of a turn in each one of those. This one I gave it just a little tweak on that spring, just a small amount because this injector, when I run out of diesel and bleed it, uh, this one here was always firing quite well. There we go, okay, take them back to the tractor. I'm just going to put on these injector pipes, get those back in place. These here tightened down, I wound it over, nothing, I can't hear anything leaking, so they must be tight enough. This is just the roll that I've been putting in, so I'm going to keep putting it in. Right, I'll just top it up with water. Tighten up these clamps. So I start the. It's again bleeding the tractor now. Again.
course. Found out why the uh, engine was getting all that diesel in it. So all that diesel came from the tank through this button, around this pipe, gravity feeding. Around here, up there, and emptied into me inlet manifold. Up there. At this gravity feed straight into my inlet manifold. So I've changed this and I've added some more height onto this. So it's right up there now. Let's see. The height of that and the fuel tank now, if it was on level ground, it would. Yeah, it's up about here somewhere. Yeah, so gravity fed from the tank around that pipe and into the inlet manifold and just filled the engine, filled the cylinder that had an open valve and drained through into the sump and filled the sump 